recently with my colleagues who have spoken before me, we needed to either we allow the, the councils for the county assembly uh, to make opening remarks, but I thought, Mr. Speaker, as the tradition and precedent, we always dispense we always uh, dispense of the preliminary objections. And on the issue of expanging the, the, the paragraphs that they have requested, the summoning of witnesses, Mr. Speaker, I thought you should have guided them so that we dispense of. But now the question should be, when you invited them to speak for 30 minutes, was it on the aspect of their opening remarks, Mr. Speaker, or was it on the aspect of raising preliminary objections? Because in my thinking, he would have allowed that the preliminary objections are raised, dispensed of, then now it sets down for the engagement. And uh, in the opening remarks of my colleague, Mr. Speaker, uh, they should have given us an overview of their case. With no pun intended, Mr. Speaker, it should have been like a, a woman's cut, long enough to cover essentials, short enough to arouse curiosity, Mr. Speaker, so that it gives and sets the tone, Mr. Speaker, of uh, Mr. Speaker, so that it sets the tone. Oh, I'm not making, I said, Mr. Speaker, I said, Mr. Speaker, no pun intended. Can you be listening carefully, my colleagues? So that is, I was just, I was just saying, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, can you, can you protect me, Mr. Speaker? Well, I will protect you if you're orderly. Yes, I'm orderly, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Proceed. I'm uh, Mr. Speaker, because I was Proceed. saying in, ta in opening remarks, Mr. Speaker, it should be something that is long enough to cover essentials and something uh, short enough to allow curiosity. And that is what is all about the opening statements, Mr. Speaker. So my request allow us to raise the PO, dispense of the preliminary objections, then allow them to, uh, to give them their opening remarks, and I've give given them a simple advice, and I hope they will take it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Senators, uh